This fish is not up to standard. It would not be acceptable in my kitchen. Okay. You beat that fish up a little bit. Yeah. Dustin, I don't think you're going to make it through today with that. Check. Fish looks to be in good shape. You're on to the next round. Thanks, Chef. Check. Looks good. Clayton. Check. Jamie, you're on to the next round. Check. Connie, nice and clean, no waste on the bone. Thank you, Chef. Francois, fish is well done. Thanks, Chef. Rob, you're on to the next round. Steve, you're on to the next round. We have our eight people. Oh, people are so psyched for this. Top Chef Canada, of course, premieres this week, uh, and it is uh, eagerly anticipated by fans. We have three of the top chefs joining us, Dale McKay, Clayton Beadle, and Jamie Hertz, the BC boys. Gentlemen, <laughs> how are you? It was funny watching you guys watch yourselves, because you, you see haven't it? seen no, any no, clips. No, what was it like uh, watching that, Dale? Uh, it's pretty humorous. <laughs> <laughs> what is the pressure like? I mean, we saw one of the first challenges when they were just narrowing it down in the very, very beginning. But what was the pressure like the first time you guys were put under the gun like that? The first time was crazy because you're, you know, you have everyone around. You don't really know the kitchen. You don't know anything. And then your adrenaline just goes crazy. It goes up. And every, you, you know, even if you're used to pressure, you start shaking because yeah. there's cameras and everything's around and stuff. So, so when you hear that first challenge, the fish, are you relieved? Or, well, obviously, yeah, you knew what you were up to. I'm pretty confident with fish so I was just the more I remember getting kind of part way through and I had to tell myself to just calm, calm down, down just, just calm. Slow down. how hard like, is it to pull the pin bones out of a piece of fish <laughs> when you're under hands, that yeah. kind of pressure uh, I was smart I went for a rockfish so it was, <laughs> it was no pin bone involved but um I can imagine even if you don't have tweezers it's probably gonna be pretty hard yeah. and Jamie obviously you were pretty confident with that one as well uh, right off the top yeah but the, the, when the adrenaline rush kicks in you sort of lose sort of control of all of your you know, limbs and everything. You know, well, like, 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 my hands are so far away. Yeah. What motivated you to get uh, sort of uh, involved in the show, Jamie? I mean, you have Fusion and Nelson, a very successful yeah. restaurant. You've run it for many years. Yeah. Why do this now for um, you? I had, I had just a couple of locals that, that sort of wanted me to do it because they thought that I could actually get myself out there and, and try to just go on the show. They, they you know, they yeah. want to see a local. They want to support their locals. Right. And, and, and of course, I wanted to see sort of where I stand and against Clayton, it. Right, right. So what? there's some competition involved. What was the motivation in this? Yeah. for you to fill out the application and get involved? Um, well, it was pretty much to get my mom satisfied. She, my mom, was my mom that wanted me on the show. <laughs> so, um, but uh, you know, just to see where you stand against the rest of the rest of Canada and the world, essentially. Clayton, that's really interesting because I don't think people really realize necessarily uh, how competitive. Uh, your industry is. I mean, from inside and out. Is that always been part of your career? I mean, sort of measuring yourself against, you know, other guys your age and, and seeing where you're standing in, in your job and your career? Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody thinks, every, every chef thinks of the best chef, right? Cool. And so it's definitely a cutthroat industry, so. No. Yeah. Chefs aren't like that. Uh, Dale, what about you? Uh, I, I mean, you know, your pedigree is, is impressive to say yeah. the least. Uh, you know, most recently with Daniel Boulud uh, at Lumiere. So why did you get involved in this? What's just it? purely competition. It really is. For, for me, it was just the fact that I, I watch a show, the American version, I love it, and I was kind of watch some challenge, and I, do you think I wouldn't do very good at that? I'd do good at that. So for me, it was just stepping up and just I want to compete against everyone. Do you think being a fan of uh, the Top Chef in the U.S. gave you an advantage, knowing oh, about yeah. the quick fire challenges, yeah. knowing how it would go? Did you prepare in oh, advance? Yeah, no, I totally, and I I, I did I did do some training for it before. I like mean, what? I think if you didn't do it, you're, you're a bit <laughs> silly. You just try and chop things really fast. <laughs> no, you, know, you, you kind of look at all the different angles. Because I do fine dining. That's what I've always done. And right. So, yeah. you know, you have to kind of start looking at some of the quick fires and some of the things that aren't really normally in your realm. Yeah. Like, you know, vending machines or whatever it may be. You have yeah. to kind of be prepared. Clayton, how did you prepare? I uh, definitely watched all the shows um, and kind of just threw away all my preconceptions about it. You know. It's my first time in TV land, so I knew it wasn't going to be what I expected. Yeah, it must be important not to try and anticipate what the judges are going to throw at you, right? Because you're probably inevitably going to be yeah. disappointed. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Uh, Jamie, uh, you, sir, had to watch a lot of Top Chef before you started. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, How many hours a night were you watching? Pretty much when I wasn't at the restaurant cooking, I was either at home watching or I was in the back room on my laptop trying to watch right. episodes because <laughs> I had never seen an episode before. You're so. kidding me. So you didn't really know what you were getting yourself involved I knew, in. I I knew the sort of like the, the what the show was about, and I knew what people thought of it, and, and yeah. the, you know, but I never actually saw particular. Had you full been involved episodes. in the competitive side of your industry before? Like, you know, there's always these contests sort of going yeah, on. Yeah, I've, I've never really been into the competition sort of side of things. I sort of just did my own 
my own thing. But way to get your feet wet. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> tell me about it for sure. Clayton, what about you? Had you done any of the competitions before? Yeah, I've done um, the Whistler Chef Challenge, um, the Telus World Ski and Snowboard Festival, um, and we do a few challenges up in uh, during Cornucopia up in Whistler. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I've done I've done, done a few. Well of them. Yeah. Now we can't talk about the results. Of course, people will have to tune in. Or to can out. we? But what was it like the first time you guys heard? And we won't talk about who had to go, but the first time you heard the yeah. phrase "pack your knives and go," what was that suck. like, Dale? Uh, or just you know, waiting for that moment. Yeah, that's that's the thing is the anticipation of standing there and, and again, you know, saying your first time in TV land, when you watch it, you think, okay, it goes boom, 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 boom. But really, you stand there for, you know, yeah, for a while. Worse. It's, it's, <laughs> it's yeah. not as clean cut as that. So, yeah, the pressure's on and it's, and plus you're sweating and there's lights and everything else. So it's, yeah. Yeah. What do, you, do you guys feel like you came out uh, a better chef, having to do all these things that are outside your comfort zone, Dale? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, and, and situations you you'll, you would never normally be in, you, you, you're you put in and you put yeah. yourself into it, so you need to Clayton, are, are you watching other guys and, and seeing what they're doing? And, and girls. And, and girls, sorry, other contestants. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and, and, and sort of... But to Chefs. you know, almost gain some inspiration from your fellow competitors as well, because everybody there really knows what they're up yeah, to. Yeah, or you just kind of concentrate. It's pretty tough when the clock starts. It's just you, your knife, and your cutting board, and the task at hand. I mean, everything else just dissolves away. Uh, are you looking forward to watching it, Jamie, and seeing what other people did? Because that's the thing. Yeah. If you're focusing on yours and you see these guys put out dishes, you don't necessarily know that's what no, they went it's, through. It's, it's true because you're always you're focused on yourself so much that you never actually see what anyone else is doing. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what all the other dishes would, yeah. would look now, like. Now you guys all seem to get along and one of my favorite things about Top Chef <laughs> in the US is that a lot of times people don't. Did you guys have to live in the same house? Is it we the are, same we setup? We are Canadians. You gotta <laughs> so you're a little more <laughs> So you can't gentle. fight, then yeah. you apologize. Yeah. Did yeah. everybody get along? In it, was, it was interesting actually how they, they, they sort of got a group of people who've never met each other and we got along so... Well you're in it yeah. together yeah, it I guess. Was, it was, that being said you don't really know what other people are saying in, right. in the interviews, right? So that's oh, what's going to come on for you. Know, oh. gonna come unfold, Clayton, right? any, uh, any <laughs> concerns about uh, either what you said about other people or about what other people said about you? No, I mean, these guys are right. Everyone got along great. You know, I don't think there was too much backstabbing going on. Anyways. You don't think? I don't no. think. I think, Dale, I think Dale had a couple good things to say about some people Generally, for sure. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Dale, we should probably mention, actually, uh, uh, people are familiar uh, with the situation with Lumiere. Yep. You're opening up a new place in the former Corner Suite Bistro. Yeah, yes. uh, a restaurant called Ensemble, and I'll be opening that. I'm hoping the first week of May it really comes Very down cool. to... Very cool. It's a good spot. Nice. It, it's a fantastic spot. And I hear it's cool. got a great it's, kitchen now. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to. It's and going to uh, Clayton, kitchen. Four Seasons up in Whistler. This is sort of a bridge season for you guys, but some exciting yep. things coming up. Definitely, yeah. Um, you know, I don't plan on settling down too soon. I'm still young. I'm going to travel the world, you know. Nice. Get out there. Good plan. Yeah. And Jamie, people can find you up in Nelson? The, if they ever make it through, which is kind of hard to get to, but yeah, you can <laughs> uh, find Bistro it. Is, in is the definitely where you go to Good eat. snow, good mountains. Good That's mountains. enough to get Absolutely. up there. That's well, it. Hang thanks out so bit. much, you guys. You'll have to tune in and, and find out who had to pack their knives and go. Of course, Top Chef right. Canada is premiering April 11th, 10 o'clock on Food Network Canada. Do not miss it. Very nice. From one great reality contest to another.